And they've finally done it, folks. Twitch has actually kind of responded in a recent stream. It's what they're going to be calling a, a frequent show called Let's Chat on their Twitch channel. And yes, it's actually DJ Week. Kind of put, obviously, in a tough situation, especially around these times. But Twitch has now kind of responded to the ongoing hot tub meta, of which many uh, criticizers have been, right? XQC, Ninja's made his remarks. Several other streamers besides just those two twins have actually made a lot of remarks about the ongoing meta. If you guys Guys have ever been on Twitter you, you've seen a lot of comments and if you've been on Twitch you've probably seen exactly what we are talking about some of whom have actually made it to the front page here is Twitch's response on the ongoing and current hot tub meta so hot tub meta I think there's a couple people in chat that is asking about the hot tub meta and we're gonna talk about it so we understand at Twitch that this has been getting a lot of attention from the community lately, and we have been watching closely. Our nudity and attire policy does allow bathing suits in an appropriate context, and hot tubs do fall under that criteria. However, what has not changed is the sexually suggestive and explicit content is not allowed under the guidelines, under the TOS, and Twitch will take action when that is reported to us. So I understand that people are upset about some of the content that might be, you know, out there. And, um, I think there's two things I want to take away uh, from this. First and foremost, the teams are watching this. They're, they are looking at it. The nudity and attire policy, you can go and review it. It does allow bathing suits um, right in, the, in a proper context. Sexually explicit and sexually suggestive content is not okay. And uh, again, action will be taken if it's reported to. But I want to talk about two, two things. First off is that we think that it is important for you to be able to control the content that you see, right? Whether it is a hot tub stream or it is a game that you don't particularly like or a creator that you, know, you don't necessarily fancy, not everything appeals to every person. And I understand that that is, uh, you know, that is that makes a lot of sense. We as creators and as just humans, there's things we love. There's things that we don't love. So I want to show so, uh, everyone that that this exists too, and I, I hope that that you will start using this. Um, now I know this is just kind of a supplement to the answer overall, um, but. Did you know that you can actually click these three buttons right here and uh, you can say, you know, I am not interested in the game Fortnite and you can click on that and it will not show me Fortnite related streams anymore. Or if I come down and let's just say I, this is not something that uh, interests me. So um, I can go in and I can click not interested and that will kind of help the Twitch discovery system, uh, you know, set what you see and what you don't see on the uh, platform. Now, Hassan Abi, oh, actually, I am interested in Hassan. I, let me go back. In your settings, then, you can go and you can adjust all of this uh, under recommendations in the feedback. And look, I know that this doesn't solve everything, but there needs to be at least a solution for individuals that are like, I see this content and I would prefer not to see this content. So letting people know about the feedback system is a part of my job. I know that it does not uh, right answer uh, every single uh, concern that, that people might have. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and just get rid of those so I can... Uh, cause I don't, I don't mind what is, uh, uh, put into my, um, uh, into my front page. And so the other thing is, is that, look, if you see something that you think violates our community guidelines, please report it. Um, 
I, I can take you through the reporting structure. Uh, the trust and safety team has talked about how they're in, in the process of improving the reporting structure as well. But please report it so that it can go to the moderation team, that they can review this. They can see that if it is violating sexually suggestive or explicit content, or it might not, it might be against the nudity and attire policy. And I say put in very tricky shoes because he, he does mention that, yes, uh, for some people out there, unfortunately so, for others, fortunately so, that when it comes time for bathing suits, that does follow the rules. That is well within the rule set. Along with that, bodies of water, so it seems, whether it be a lake or a pool, in this case, a hot tub, is also allowed. Where it becomes very tricky as to the wording that was used is sexually explicit content or sexualized content is not allowed in the rule books, to which I say, um, at what point does a bathing suit worn in a hot tub where is that line? And I'm sure Twitch is trying to identify this as well. Where is the line crossed between sexually explicit content and and allowed content? I, I don't, I, they are in very, very weird shoes. Stuff is kind of a plea from one creator to other creators and audiences. And that is, is that like, you know, you might watch Netflix and absolutely there's probably stuff on Netflix that you are just like, this is garbage. It's trash. I don't want to watch it. You know, so, and you've got that power of choice. But one thing that I would hope that communities wouldn't do to other creators is content shame and, you know, talk about someone doing X content or why content just because you may not like it. Now there are other things I am not I am not trying to compartmentalize everyone's thoughts into this and I hope that you will expand on the concerns that you might have when I talk about how you can submit things uh, to us. Um, but the other thing too is that man, the content landscape is constantly evolving, right? We went from Twitch, which was just gaming. There was a time where I could not even talk to you like this for longer than 30 minutes. Otherwise, I was at risk of no, you know, not being getting a ban or getting a warning. And as Twitch has grown and as people have brought more interest to the platform, as creators have grown, as creators have started doing more interest, and I'm not just talking about hot, I'm talking about everything. I'm talking about duck feeding cams and the owl streams that we've seen and and th individuals like Joey Chaotic who's going out and doing IRL streams and then break dancing and right and if you don't like IRL or break dancing you kind of have that power to not only adjust your discoverability but just to also not engage and watch on it now with that being said if you have concerns other than what we may have addressed today, by all means, when we get down to it, which will be next uh, or, or in a little bit, um, we'll have a form that you can fill out. It will allow you to elaborate a little bit more. Um, I, I Again, I, I am speaking to this from uh, an approach of our nudity and attire policy, what is appropriate context, and what we hope that you know creators who uh, do report and do help us uh, keep Twitch safe and um, with users and creators following the rules. And I know some people out there were actually criticizing the fact he went on to explain, and I didn't know this, on Twitch you can actually click those three dots and say, hey, I'm not interested. That because, yes, so many people out there are very vocal about these hot tub streams. Despite that, I have been too, and I, I don't watch them, right? I think for me, the main issue is that this website is now leaning towards a lot more adult content for still a very, very much childlike or younger audience. That's where it rubs me the wrong way. And if you guys want to check out other content out there, there are a lot of people on both sides and a lot of people that are against the hot tub streams for a variety of reasons that don't want to see this website go in that direction. And yeah, certainly a lot of streamers out there have really bent the hot tub rules into very, very sexually suggestive content that Twitch somehow still does allow. So that's their response for now. What what does this do? Not really much. The, the TLDR of that response is pretty much, yeah, it's, it's in the rules, but if it goes too far and you guys report it, we will do something about it which as of right now has seemingly been one or two or three day bans repetitively to which they're just back the next day doing the same thing. So it's it's very tricky. What do you guys think? I'm sure this will not be the last time we talk about this one. Until then though, all right? So just sit back, take a drink, watch some other YouTube content, have a great rest of your day, and uh, I'll catch you back here sometime soon, all right? Take care of yourselves. Cheers. Um, 
Okay, bye.